Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today I'm going to be giving you my top five tips to get all three stars on Ailing, the first hospital in the Speedy Recovery DLC. I'm going to be bringing you all the best, all the top tips, walkthroughs, explanations, guides it all for speedy recovery so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn that notification bell on so you can be alerted whenever i put out a video i'm gonna be putting out lots a lot of content from this two point studios are really appreciative they gave me an early copy so i was able to get content out as soon as possible to help you guys out and you guys are going to want this because I'm not going to lie, it is a tough level. For the first hospital on the DLC, it's a tough level. It's situated right next to Crock and Bush and Rotting Hill and the Pelican Wharf area. And there is a reason for that because there are lots of illnesses and it is tough. It is one of the harder levels that I've done, especially with the new mechanic coming in. You've got a lot to learn, a lot to get into, so let's get going. And this, this is my exact build for um, the third and final star. Obviously, I expanded and I've moved things around, but I've got a diagnosis uh, building here. And I actually only added the additional GP officers uh, towards the end. So they're not actually needed. You can run off one or two for a long time. I've got another diagnosis building here. Kind of got two and another uh, DNA lab up there. DNA lab's great. Um, treatment treatment and then kind of just utility um so yeah that's my that's my layout see i've got um some spots for ambulances there got my ambulances here and here uh, but yeah that's that's my layout for first star so you know if you want to you want to copy this feel free um you know just pause the screen here and you can tweak things around a bit but my top five tips so when you first start out, uh, I'm just going to hit play just so this goes. When when you first start out, uh, you're going to need multiple diagnosis rooms. You want to get a ward as soon as possible, a psychiatry and a DNA lab. Uh, the DNA lab really, really helped me out. Um, definitely um, kind of saved me there. Uh, but, you know, if you don't want to use the DNA lab, you could also use a mega scanner. Um, that's that would be really really useful really powerful uh, and you're gonna be using a lot so you want to get multiples I've got three here and um, I know they're not that much in use now but it's just because I'm not pumping for emergencies right now because I'm doing this tips video um, but yeah you'll definitely need them you'll definitely be using them all so make sure uh, to get those diagnosis rooms down tip number two um, so early rooms that you're going to need and you're going to want to prioritize these you want to get a uh, as I said uh, the diagnosis so the ward the DNA lab the psychiatry but you're also going to want to put down a pharmacy a fracture ward and a shock clinic they they are the early illnesses that come on and you want to get them in because the top money is going to come from uh, from treatment although you can get 10 grand as you just saw there at the top um, for diagnosing on the DNA lab Hopefully we'll get 10 grand here. So it, it's definitely worth having the diagnosis prices of the DNA lab up sky high. Um, there you go, 10,000 just there. Because uh, that definitely helps you out. Because money, money is tough at the start. So you want to prioritize those treatment rooms so you can just get that cash in. Uh, it took me a while to get a fracture ward and you know, it, it definitely uh, slowed me down a bit. Uh, after that, you're going to be getting a PANS lab, uh, injection room, head office, cryptology, and a surgery. Um, they're the treatment rooms. You'll already have a DNA lab, uh, ward in psychiatry, of course. Um, so for any treatment that goes through there, you should already be sorted. Tip number three. You're going to really want to just dive into this emergency response mechanic. You're gonna really, and, and it is a lot of fun. I I love messing around with it. Um, I love trying to uh, just steal um, uh, steal some of the patients from people. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy that probably a bit too much, uh, but yeah, uh, you're gonna want to play around with that straight away. You're gonna want to get involved, but 
just don't go too heavy on it because what's going to happen is you're just going to bring more and more patients to your hospital and you will not be ready um you will not be ready to do it so just kind of hold off doing it straight away um driving to enhanced driving skills uh, now i'm going to get diagnosis training in um yeah but you, you're going to want to hold off doing it too um too quickly because uh, otherwise just the hospital is going to be overrun you're not going to know um you're not going to know what to what to do because there's just going to be so many patients here you're not going to be able to cure them all diagnose them all in time you're gonna they're not going to make money people are going to refuse to pay and you're just going to get on a spiral 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 because you've got too many patients and you've grown too quickly just like you would in a normal hospital so just be careful when um doing the emergency response early on it is so much fun it adds a nice little dynamic uh, i've definitely really enjoyed it but know when to use it and when to bring those extra patients into your hospital tip number four is train diagnosis early on um, make sure you're focusing on your psychiatrist your uh, diagnosis training for dna lab and uh, ward management not so much on the gp because you don't really use the gp that much early on but yeah make sure you're focusing on uh, diagnosis skills early because uh, some of these illnesses are really hard to diagnose um, and straight off the bat uh, you're gonna have a lot of patients you're gonna have a lot of like they're gonna be bouncing from the ward to the psychiatry to the dna lab uh, so you're going to want to up those diagnosis skills as soon as possible and that includes your drivers as well you want their diagnosis skills to be higher because then patients are going to come straight out of the ambulance and they will hopefully um uh, be pretty pretty well diagnosed let's see if i just jump one in here it shouldn't take too long we just go grab a few people and like bear in mind the big healer isn't the best when it comes to um, diagnosis skills so you can see here it actually says poor diagnosis but if we do that we should see them come in any moment now there we go and that's it reverse in we should be able to take a look at some of the, yeah 58 percent so that's, that's really good straight off the bat and that's because i've trained those drivers up just in diagnostics just to make sure uh, that i'm getting some good training straight away and then tip number five i really like the uh the pantomobiles i think they are the one you're going to need uh, lots of patients to be collected you need to collect a hundred patients for star one you need to cure a hundred patients that have been collected in star two and then you need to collect another 200 patients in star three now the pantomobile uh, once leveled up full it, it's gonna bring you back like about 22 or so patients you're you're never gonna get full on it um at level one it brings back 10 level two it brings back 16 uh, and and it's great yes it's a bit slow but on this level not too much of an issue because as you will see the other um uh, the other hospitals their vehicles one they're not that quick but two they can't carry that many patients so we'll just have a look um if i just i mean yeah i, I can still do one for here i'm not worried about the timing yes it's a minute and three seconds but like look that's picked up two patients there's a lot of patients here right that's picked up two that's picked up four and then look we've still got all these patients yet to pick they're gonna get their drop off get their drop off so that one's quite quick but it's, it's not going to be quick enough to cause us any problems um, by the time that gets in drops up the patients and redoes the route our pantomobile is gonna be there our lovely clown car and look it's gonna come in and it's gonna pick up everyone and there we go it, it just it, for me it is the best vehicle for this level um although i do love sending um a uh, a big healer just to uh, just to pip some of these guys to the post so there you have it they're my top five tips for this level 
Uh, if you found this useful, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be putting up top tips for every single hostel on this new DLC. I'm going to be doing walkthroughs for them all, and you are not going to want to miss them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you.